I'm going to give you a demonstration of the NVDA screen reader reading a Microsoft Word for Office 365 document. I've chosen to use the NVDA screen reader as it's rapidly becoming one of the most popular screen readers because it's open source and free and you can download it without a license onto any machine. I'm going to start by showing you how a screen reader can be used to navigate a document. This is really important to understand because it clarifies why screen readers are used not only by users who have a visual impairment and may not be able to see your content, but also by those who have a mobility impairment and may not be able to use a mouse to navigate your content. The first thing I'm going to show you is how NVDA will read a header if I've used the inbuilt Microsoft heading styles. Heading level one, page one, section one, introduction. And then I'll show you that by using the H shortcut key, I can navigate through the document by jumping from header to header. Page one, section one, introduction, heading level one. Page two, GDPR background information, heading level two. Page three, roles and responsibilities, heading level two. And I can also navigate through the document by using any hyperlinks that might be in it. And I do that by using the shortcut key K. University GDPR updated policy. Data security response team and information security team. Subject access request form. Hopefully that's a good demonstration of how I can use a screen reader to navigate through a document. But also a good reminder of how important it is to use Microsoft's built-in heading styles when you're creating your documents. Let's move on now to looking at adding alternative text to images, which is one of the most important things that you can do to any of your resources to improve their accessibility. Before I show you how the screen reader will read alternative text, I'm just going to remind you how you can add alternative text to an image using Word for Office 365. So I'm just going to start by scrolling up so that we can see that image a bit more clearly. Then I'm going to click to select the image and then go up to the Format ribbon and then click on Alt Text. Now you can see in this Alt Text panel to the right of the screen that I've already added some alternative text for this image. It's very important when you add your Alt Text that you think about the message you're trying to convey to a sighted reader. Your alternative text needs to allow a reader with a visual impairment to get the same information as a reader who is sighted. If you've added your image only for decoration and there's no message you want to convey by using it, you can tick in this mark as decorative box here and this will stop the screen reader from recognising it or reading out any description. So let's find out now how alternative text will sound to a screen reader user. Traffic a teenage girl sits on a bench in a park. The sun is shining on her face and she is smiling. She holds a white cane with a red hand, which indicates that she has both a visual and hearing impairment. The next thing to find out is how a screen reader reads out the information from a table. This I think is one of the most difficult things for a sighted reader to try and understand without seeing a demonstration. So I have a table here which I've created, like the headings in our first demonstration, using words inbuilt table styles. This allows the screen reader to recognise that it is a table and convey this to the screen reader user. So let's hear how this table would sound. First of all, I'm going to show you how the screen reader can read the entire table. Number of support calls table has long description with four rows and four columns. Level one, row one, column two, service out, column three, business world, column four, WordPress, column five, row two, column one, 2017, column two, 135, column three, 93, column four, 206. And now I'll show you how a screen reader user can choose to read the table cell by cell. Row three, column one, 2018. Column two, 128. Column three, 125. Column 4, 134. Another option that the screen reader user has is to listen to the alternative text for the table if you've added it. The screen reader user can hear if you've added alternative text when the screen reader begins to read the table. Page 7, section 1, number of support calls. Table has long description with four rows and four columns, level 1, row 1, column 1. 
As with alt text for an image, alternative text for a table allows you to communicate the meaning that you're trying to convey by including the table. Again, I'll show you where you can add this because this time it's in a slightly different place to alternative text for an image. So the first thing you need to do is select your table. And then if you right click on the table and go to table properties, you'll find there's an alt text tab. So if I click on there, and you can then see the alternative text for that table. So that really is just a summary of the table, a summary of the message I want to convey by including the table in my resource. So we'll close that now and then move on to hearing how a screen reader user is going to hear that information. When the table is read out, the screen reader user will be able to hear if you've added alternative text to your table. Table has long description with four rows and four columns level one row one column. They can then use the NVDA shortcut keys to hear that alternative text. Table description, table description, table shows support calls for service our business world and WordPress over a three year period from 2017 to 2019. Both service our and business world showed an increase in calls, with business world showing a marked increase from 125 calls in 2018 to 200 in 2019. WordPress calls declined steadily from 260 in 2017 to 95 in 2019. The final thing I'm going to show you in this demonstration is the difference between a screen reader and text-to-speech software. The example I'm going to use is Read Aloud, which is available in Word for Office 365, but there are many other options available. So I can access Read Aloud in the Review ribbon, you can see it here, or add it to the Quick Access toolbar, and you can see then that these commands will appear in the right-hand panel of the screen. I'm just going to play Read Aloud for you and you can see the difference between a screen reader and text-to-speech software. Lawful basis for processing data. A subject access request, SAR, is the right of access which allows individuals to access their personal and special category information and any supplementary information. Subject access request form. Number of support calls. ServiceNow. Business World. WordPress. 2017. So you can see that text-to-speech software doesn't recognise headings, so it can't be used to navigate. It also doesn't recognise images or read out alternative text. And finally, it doesn't tell the screen reader user if they are listening to the description of a table. I hope this demonstration has given you a good introduction to how screen readers work and will help you in the future to think about accessibility, whatever you're creating.